tonight. The WWE Universe has been promised an explanation for what happened at day one. But what would explain it, Michael? Be quiet and we might find out. My road to WWE hasn't been like most. Ever since my debut, I've had advantages simply because of my family. I know that. And you, the WWE Universe, has accepted me sometimes because of that, and sometimes in spite of that. Then there's Ava Moreno. From the very beginning, Ava has put me down for who I am, even as she used it for her own benefit. Ava, I pulled you up with me onto main event. You even had the gall to make me work for it, even though it was my name getting us a match. You took advantage of me, Ava. Our whole partnership, which you weaseled into, might I add, was never about being a real team. It was always about you using me. <laughs> I realized that out day one, when you were reaching out of the ring trying to use me again. And so I made a decision. I'm not apologizing for who I am anymore. <laughs> I've already dropped the dead weight. But tonight, I'd love to introduce the WWE Universe to my new manager. Someone I think you already know. It's WWE legend Justine. We guess that she might be advising her niece on her career in WWE, but this makes it official. A new manager and a new attitude from the former tag team champion. I'm not sure if I agree with her updated outlook, but I certainly want to see what comes of this latest chapter. I, for one, think it's a great outlook, Cole. She's looking out for number one. I wouldn't be surprised if we see her at the very top very soon. Do you think she's going for the SmackDown Women's Championship? Where else would her interest lie? Justine wouldn't waste her time with anything less. The champion better keep her head on a swivel. Dewdrop, watch out. What's all this? Did you really expect me to manage you out of the regular SmackDown locker room? I made a request, and management set us up with our own private VIP area. This is pretty awesome. Don't act so surprised. You need to start thinking like a champion and main eventer. Do you really think Hogan or The Rock got ready with the rest of the roster? Being on top means asking for, or taking, exactly what you deserve. As your manager, I worked it into my rider. You mean my rider? Sure, whatever. Anyway, are you ready to talk next steps, or do you want to get settled first? I'm ready to be champion. Let's go. Great. I talked with Molly and set up an opportunity for you. A match against Charlotte Flair. Your move against Ava worked. They now see you as a singles competitor who can hold your own against a WrestleMania main eventer. Prove them right in your match against Charlotte. You got me a match with Charlotte? I'm impressed. Of course you are. I don't mess around.
The Queen hasn't faced this challenger since. Ava from behind. She's not going to let her former partner get to this match. What we're seeing here is raw aggression and clear revenge for what happened at day one when these two lost the Tag Team Championships. WWE officials may be breaking this up, but I don't think we've seen the end of this. LJ. Little Justine. That nickname's even more fitting now that you're working with the only thing that got you into WWE in the first place. Did you really think that after what happened between us, I was going to just sit back and stay quiet? You and your aunt must be stupider than I thought. I never weaseled my way into anything in my life. You approached me for a main event match. When we first teamed up for the Money in the Bank match, I not only ensured our victory, but then I had to practically drag you out of your comfort zone so that our cash-in wasn't doomed to fail. I will admit one thing, though. When you turned on me, I was kind of impressed. I didn't think you had it in you, LJ thinking for yourself for the first time in your career. But what I realize now is that you had just went back to having your aunt do all the thinking and work for you. So if I've got a fight with both of you, fine by me. You were always nothing more than a knockoff copy of her anyway, little Justine. I'm going to tear Ava apart for what she did and said about me. If Ava wants to make more trouble, I'm not going to wait until next week. I want to hit her before she leaves tonight. That's my girl. And if you need help, I'll have your back. You'll have my back? Uh, how? You can't fight. Maybe not, but I've got a few other tricks up my sleeve. I'm not going to let her call us both out and then just sit on the sidelines. And there you see Ava Moreno, who targeted her former partner tonight in a surprising attack. Looks like she's the one who's getting targeted now. What did she expect? And I hope everyone has cleared the way because this backstage brawl has the potential to get out of hand really fast. The backstage is a tricky area to navigate, even under the best circumstances. So imagine having to do it with two superstars throwing hands. Oh, my God! Oh, nice takedown. Rolling elbow finds its mark. Ouch. Steiner. And some effective offense with that one. Uh, Nothing fancy here. Backbreaker. I'm backbreaker. Uh, Boy, uh, you're a pin uppercut. Uh, 
She knows she's the best. She's just telling everyone else. This is not the time to be diverting attention away from your opponent. Line. All sorts of danger looming as this fight continues in the parking lot. Oh, it didn't go as planned there. Uh oh, this is not going to end well. Nice suplex. Ooh. suplex and not done yet another German and continuing to punish their opponent with a German exposed concrete it's just the first hazard you see in this area there are about a hundred ways this could be ending in disaster how did scouted look at this going counter for counter into the ambulance. And Ava is taking out all of her aggression on her former tag partner. Do you blame her after what she did? I don't. You think you're better than me? That I'd lay down and take it when you... Look out! That car came out of nowhere. This has escalated quickly. We need medics on the scene immediately. Justine? What the hell? I think her niece is just as shocked as we are. Looked like you needed some help. You're lucky that Ava only suffered some minor injuries, and that it was your aunt who was driving the car and not you. We'd be having a very different conversation. If you'll recall, Ava started it. My memory is excellent, including my memory of your actions at day one. But it's clear to me that you two won't stop until you destroy each other. Destroying Ava works for me. Then let's at least get a SmackDown main event match out of this. And since you're determined to drive each other to hell and back, it's going to be the most brutal match in WWE, Hell in a Cell. Perfect. And one more thing. I can't risk Justine driving into the arena and hitting anyone. Our event insurance is high enough as it is. She's barred from ringside, either on foot or in a motorized contraption of any kind. Fine by me. I don't need her help to take Ava out anyway. They don't come tougher than this wrestler. It's Ava Moreno. The following contest is a Hell in a Cell match. Making her way to the ring from the Bronx, New York, Ava Moreno. I don't know if there's a more talented wrestler than Ava Moreno. Uh, I wouldn't go that far, but Ava's drive has kept her fighting for victories and opportunities. She's got a chip on her shoulder, and that makes her dangerous both to opponents and herself. 
Ava looks ready to make the most out of this opportunity. No longer in someone else's shadow, this wrestler has a bright future. And from New York, the Queen, Evelyn. Guys, this match has the potential to completely change the WWE landscape, and it's because of this level of talent involved. Yeah. This second generation superstar looks to finish on top in this one. I have a feeling we're about to witness some fireworks in what better setting than Hell in a Cell. It should be Aunt in a Cell because Justine should be in jail after hitting Ava with a car. It's a testament to Ava's toughness. She's even here. But Justine and her niece are in the driver's seat of this rivalry. And that pun is most definitely intended. She certainly took a chance there. High risk with no reward. for leaving an opening. Out of the ring and even closer to the chain link enclosure. No count out as she takes this fight to the floor. Showing some extra scouting, knowing how to answer a counter. With a counter of your own. She's showing signs of slowing now. This is what you expect from Hell in a Cell. Nobody makes it out without having to endure their share of suffering. Oh. Ooh, look at her answering back. Going counter for counter. Now, can it be capitalized on? Oh. Ava interrupts the attack. What an impact, and there goes the wall. Superstars will end up now. I don't think even they know. Stay away from us. She's heading up the cell, guys. To do what? Guys, I can't think of one good reason why she should be up there right now. Right, so she can jump off and come down and land on the person to win the match. And she's made it to the top. But now what? She's at the top now. Go for it. Go for it. Oh, no. What grace. Float over in the... Oh, oh. We knew what we were in for with this matchup, but we didn't think the hell was going to be let loose above the cell. Continuing to punish their opponent with a German. Shot to the gut will break things up. This entire arena is on the edge of their seats 
watching these two clash on top of the cell. Man, what an uppercut. Suplex, perfect. They got up there, but how are they going to get down? I don't know if they thought that far ahead. Got a great display of strength with the suplex. Uh, right to the lower back. All the momentum is swung to her favor. Maintain. Trap in the arm. Cross face submission. Oh, man, she had to tap out. This was as dominant a win as I've ever seen, guys. An absolute statement by the victor here tonight. What a steamrolling. It's the second generation superstar who's here to write her own story. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring, accompanied by Justine from New York, the Queen, Evelyn. Take a look at the talent in competition here. You can see exactly why the WWE Universe is so amped up for this one. This is a woman ready to do some damage. Here comes the Pride Fighter. And 
from Shimon, New Jersey, Sonia Deville. Well, here's a cunning opportunist. Careful how you speak about Sonia Cole. She happens to have a very gifted mind for this business, both as an official and from bell to bell. She's a powerful striker with a very extensive mixed martial arts background. Yeah, Sonya Deville never pulls her punches, but does like to pull strings behind the scenes. Now, been a recipe for success for her at times, though. I don't know if I need to get my eyes checked, but that does not look like Ronda Rousey. Sometimes these matches create more questions than answers. Apparently, Sonya Deville is stepping in for Ronda Rousey in tonight's knockout or submissions only contest. An MMA inspired match like this is usually not for the faint of heart. But then you don't show up? I don't get it. Oh my goodness. Just strike it at will. Go, go. Strong form. As the little trap, Fisherman Suplex. Attack from behind. Textbook neck breaker. Bam! Rolling neck snap. Oh, man. Oh, what a snap there. Oh, perfectly executed. She's feeling the hurt here. Look at this. Right to the spine. Yeah. Return fire from DeVille. Rapid shots right to the gut. What a shot. Oh, come on, attacking the face. This is uncalled for. Face gouge. Oh, God. And there is no other term for that than just cheap, a cheap shot. Oh. And no count outs means she has the whole outside to play with. I can already feel the sting of the kendo stick, and I do not care for it. Hooked up. Oh, package drive. DeVille was ready there. to ringside. She throws her back in. Drop kick. DeVille is struggling to defend herself. Sonya keeps getting cut down. seen guys never a doubt barely a moment suspense this one was about as lopsided as they come
for that. No longer in someone else's shadow, this wrestler has a bright future. The following is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring, accompanied by Justine from New York, the Queen, Evelyn. This is a match that folks have been clamoring for, and they are excited to finally get it. This second generation superstar looks to finish on top in this one.
the baddest woman on the planet is here. Ready to take more names and break more arms. And from Venice Beach, California, the baddest woman on the planet, Ronda Rousey. And arguably one of the most highest profile signings we've ever seen in WWE. And you can thank one person for that oh, signing, boy. Byron. Here we go. Stephanie McMahon. Ronda Rousey's got her game face locked. She is ready to compete. When Ronda Rousey steps in the ring, you expect it to be rough, and tonight's no exception. Especially because Ronda showed up this time. We're finally going to get to settle this whole clean, a quick cover. Uh, she's able to kick out before the refs count. Maybe a little too early for such an attempt. Impressive reversal there. Ooh, sharp elbow. Float over. Oh, and the DDT. Standing drop kick. Great ups. Big form. Vicious, downright savage club right there. Down for a European arm breaker. The baddest woman on the planet's in trouble. You don't often see Rousey get cut down like this. Paying it right back with a reversal. One response after another, back and forth we go. She's starting to look concerned. Nice suplex. Ooh. All right, it's cinched in. This could be oh. it. Oh. Oh. Package drive. Some teeth. She steers clear of that one. Oh, the arms. Uh oh. Superb awareness countering Rousey. Trap in the arm. Cross face submission is in. right there an absolute statement by the victor here tonight what a steamrolling I don't know if you know anything about crypto, nor do I care, but the two names that keep getting thrown around are you and Alexa Bliss. Since, as I think I've made fairly clear, I don't have time to deal with all of this. If you want the job or honor, whatever it is, fight Alexa for it. It's the superstar who's driven to live up to all the hype. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from New York, the Queen, Evelyn. And guys, this looks to be a match with major implications here in WWE. Could change the entire landscape here.
Let's see if this superstar can show us something special tonight. Here comes five feet of fury. And she's got backup. And from Columbus, Ohio, Alexa Bliss. It seems like Alexa is back from the dark side, but she brought back a friend, Lily. Uh, I wish she hadn't. Oh, don't be jealous, Saxton. We know your favorite doll recently popped. We are about to see five feet of fury unleashed. And that is bad news for Alexa's opposition. The battle over an interesting prize here tonight, the right to be the spokesperson for a new WWE cryptocurrency. No matter who wins, I'm investing big. Got to get it on the ground floor with these things. You earned it here first, WWE Universe. Financial guru Byron Saxton has weighed in with crypto advice. Start investing your entire life savings now. Launched with a belly to belly. First on the shoulder. A backbreaker now. Ooh. A torturous knee. Oh, what an uppercut. Jordan. That offense taking a toll on her. Big right hand. She sent flying into the corner. Escape just in time. Standing drop kick. Great up. A relentless attack being brought to Alexa. Alexa's got to flip the switch soon. All right, back to it. Returning to the ring. Hooked up. Oh my God! A small package driver. Two count. Here is your winner, the Queen, Evelyn. No other way to put it, guys. That was kind of a butt kicking. This is what you get when you have complete confidence and control of the situation. You have yourself a nice little snack today? What? Um, I guess I had a pretty good banana. Not too green, not too ripe. Wasn't bad. Enough with your banana babbling. I know you ate my oatmeal. Stole it from the fridge like a right little thief, didn't you? Why would anyone want to steal someone else's oatmeal? Because it's delicious, and I can smell it on your breath. 
I don't want your oatmeal. And I really don't like being called a thief. <laughs> if you want to continue this conversation, I'm happy to do it in the ring. Like I have time to mess with the likes of you. I've got big time stuff to do, let alone the fact that I've got to go out and get myself a new bowl of oatmeal. I'm far too busy. No thanks to you. If it would help, I can make sure to beat you quickly. Why don't we get in the ring for, what do you say, five minutes? Surely you can carve out that amount of time to avenge the theft of your precious oatmeal. So you admit it. I admit nothing, except a desire to clear my name. Fine. You can have five minutes of my time and a fair dose of my fury. You'll think twice before you cop any more of my snacks. No one steals from the goat. This wrestler grew up in the business, and now she's growing up before our very eyes. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from New York, the Queen, Evelyn. The feeling, the electricity in the arena right now is unlike anything I've ever felt in quite some time. This match, it's gonna be good. Corey, how do you prepare for Becky Lynch in this match tonight? That may be the unanswerable question, Cole, because when you're dealing with Becky Lynch, she's more than a competitor. You are facing off with a driving force in the history of women's wrestling. The man has arrived. And the WWE Universe is on their feet. And from Dublin, Ireland, Becky Lynch. She is as tough as they come. Yeah, these days the outfits may be a little fancier, but the passion in Lynch remains the same. Perhaps the most popular competitor in women's division history. Well, you could say that Becky Lynch has carved out a Hall of Fame career simply because she has believed in herself every step of the way. Don't step away for a bowl of popcorn. This five-minute time limit match promises to be a quick one. But that doesn't mean it won't pack in the action. Well, you can do a lot of damage in five minutes, both to your opponent and their reputation. Right, what a kick. Oh, the reversal by Becky Lynch. Into the corner now. Becky Lynch looking to embarrass her opponent. It has to be demoralizing to just get slapped like that. Yeah, if that doesn't fire you up, I don't know what will. Life suplex. Ooh. Oh, kick. Nasty kick. Running next 
now. Brutal. She's beginning to flag a little. <laughs> Becky holds her off. <laughs> Becky Lynch on the move. Not finished yet. Hooked up. Fisherman suplex. Oh. 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 Hits the mark. just me, but you can only be disrespected so many times like that before you start to develop a complex. You get slapped a lot, Corey? It's none of your business, Cole. Oh, package drive. Going for it. Crossface submission. Oh, the crossface is in good. I don't know how she's going to get out of this. Try to break the grip and does. That was a great move. And she gets herself out of a precarious position. And that was a successful bit of offense with that maneuver. Lynch saw it coming. Hammerlock. Reverse DDT. <laughs> Great counter. Impressive ring IQ on display there. Double underhook applied. Butterfly suplex. Slips out of the way there. What reflexes. And down with the suplex. Becky Lynch has taken on a lot of damage. I'm not sure how much she has left in the tank. Yeah, she is not looking good right now. Oh, my gosh. I don't stop anybody. Good golly, what a knee. Got to find a way to get out of this. Turning the throat there. Shoulders down. Still in with a quick kick out. She is still in this fight. <laughs> Schoolboy. Wait, no! Into a power bomb! And the cover for the win! This is it! She fights her shoulder up before one. Looks like there's some more fight left in her. <laughs> Timely reversal on Lynch. Oh my God, a small package driver. Two. Win. A big win. That took a huge effort. Here is your winner. The Queen, Evelyn. She earns the W against fierce competition. She was so committed to walking out the winner, I'm not sure anything could have stopped her.